you just can't even imagine what it's like for me to play with not just an unbelievably great violinist and great cellist with, with such wonderful musical ideas and, and the command of the instruments, but the fact that they've played together for 11 years in a quartet with the distinguished uh, uh, level of the Tokyo String Quartet, everything about uh, their sound and how they use their bows and their intonation. All of that comes together and makes the rehearsal process completely different from the rehearsal process of three ad hoc musicians playing trios together. In the case of the cello, you spend a lot of time doubling piano. Jackie's left hand is an extension of my lower register and vice versa. And, and then sometimes the role of the cello is completely missing. The traditional role being in the bass line, you're on the A string a lot more of the time. Um, so there's, there's many more interesting sort of textures. And um, you, you get way more solos and trios, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's got to be satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually able to enjoy uh, what I studied for years, which is to, to be uh, able to sing up in the higher reaches of the instrument, which you don't do in a quartet so much. Over the years, Clive and I, uh, of course, being a part of the same quartet, would have found homogeneity and, and common ground in terms of sound production. But uh, it is interesting for, for me, as well as for Clive, to, uh, to be able to, to commune on a slightly different plane.